Okay, so now we're going to see our first ever uh, sort of tutorial on trigonometry. Okay, it's going to make up a, a big part of the IB syllabus, uh, but this may be the first time you're seeing it. Okay, and uh, this content today will make up the basis of uh, what it extends into in IB. Uh, but today's stuff is all about right angle triangles. Okay, and re the relationship between uh, its side lengths and some of its angles. Okay, so uh, firstly we need to know how to label a right angle triangle um, in exactly the same way every time. Okay, if we're given, uh, if we're shown where the right angle is and we're given the measure of some angle, uh, one of the other two angles, um, we need to know how to label. Okay, so firstly, uh, probably the easiest one is opposite the right angle. We're going to have what's called the hypotenuse. And I say it's the easiest because you should know this already from uh, doing the Pythagorean theorem a couple of years ago. Okay, so it's opposite the right angle. Okay, um, then um, we have what we're going to call the opposite, okay, and that's going to be opposite the other angle we're given. So opposite this 27 degrees and opposite this 46 degrees is the side that we're going to label as being called the opposite. Uh, and finally, um, adjacent uh, in, in English, regular English, uh, adjacent means next to, and that kind of helps you because the adjacent is the one is the side that is next to both the angle and the right angle. Um, so you can see here, okay, the adjacent connects the 27 degrees and the right angle, and the same thing on the other triangle here. Okay, so you need to be able to label it like this. Um, okay, it could be flipped, rotated in any fashion they want, but. Opposite the right angle, hypotenuse. Opposite the other given angle, that's called the opposite. Uh, and kind of next to both angles is called the adjacent. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's get into the actual maths there. Um, okay, so we're given a right angle triangle uh, with a 30 degree angle. Um, and we are told here that the opposite is 9 centimeters and the hypotenuse is 18 centimeters. Okay, then we have another triangle, uh, also right angle triangle with a 30 degree angle, and that has an opposite of 2 inches and a hypotenuse of 4 inches. Now, if we, we might notice something already, um, but if we were to divide, let's say, opposite by hypotenuse, uh, both of these would simplify to one half. Okay, so that leads us to the statement of when uh, the angle, theta, I might call it, uh, equals 30 degrees, uh, the opposite divided by the hypotenuse is one half, um, or the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse is one to two, one over two. Okay, so the ratio uh, opposite over hypotenuse over h, when theta is 30, Okay, is seems to always be 1 over 2. Okay, and this is actually going to work for any angle um, that I could put into this box here. Um, the ratio of opposite over hypotenuse will always be the same for a certain angle. So I could change it to 60 degrees, and that will be a certain ratio. Okay, so you can make the triangle bigger. But uh, in proportion to one another, opposite over hypotenuse uh, will still have the same uh, relationship, the same ratio. Okay, well, that's the uh, relationship between two of the sides. What about another two sides? Uh, in these examples, I'm looking at adjacent and hypotenuse. Okay, I've got a 45 degree angle in my right angle triangle, and the adjacent is root 2 meters, square root of 2 and hypotenuse is 2 meters long. Okay, in the other one, um, I have an adjacent of a square root of 8 and hypotenuse of 4 centimeters. Okay, both are in centimeters. And the top is in meters. 
Now, um, the, the ratio might not seem as obvious. Okay, uh, here I might have root two divided by two, which doesn't really simplify. Um, and here I've got root eight over four, um, which I could simplify uh, as so. And actually, yes, this is root two over two as well. Okay, so the ratio of adjacent to hypotenuse always stays the same uh, if you've got a right angle triangle of 45 degrees. Root two over two. Okay, so we can treat it basically as a function. Okay, um, and the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse at certain angles will all, always equal the same thing. Okay, all we've found is that the ratio when it's 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. Okay, when it's uh, 60 degrees, uh, it is 1 half. Okay, if we're given any angle at all, uh, we should be able to uh, find out the ratio of these sides. Okay, um, but uh, so as I was just saying, we can find out these ratios for every single angle. Okay, and that could be helpful, um, okay, because those are three bits of information that are related to one another. So we could find one of those uh, pieces of information if we are given the other two. Now we're going to start off with a missing side length today. Um, so this diagram seems similar to previous ones, but we have uh, an unknown side length x. We have a hypotenuse of 72 meters. We have an angle of 30 degrees. Okay, and we know from before that the ratio of uh, opposite to hypotenuse should be 1 over 2. Okay, so opposite over hypotenuse here is x over 72, but it should equal. 1 over 2. Okay, um, so now we can just solve the x. So we can multiply by 72. 72 divided by 2 equals 36. And the units are meters here. Okay, so we've found this missing length because we know what the ratio between opposite and hypotenuse should be when it's this angle. Okay, now um, we've been using some quite heavy-handed uh, wording so far. I can't keep really saying things like ratio of this to this when we've got this angle uh, every single time. Um, we need a better way of saying it. Okay, and mathematicians have, um, well, chosen words for describing this. So, um, instead of saying the ratio of opposite to hypotenuse when theta is a certain angle, we're going to say sine of 30 degrees is a half, for, for example. And that's shortened even further to sine, I'll still call the sine of 30 equals a half. Okay. Um, the ratio adjacent over hypotenuse will be given by cosine. And that's going to be shortened to cos. So I could say cos of 45 degrees is root 2 over 2. And all that means is the same thing as we started with. Um, all it means is the adjacent over hypotenuse has a ratio of root 2 over 2 when the angle is 45 degrees. Okay, and the ratio we haven't actually looked at yet. Okay, but same idea really. Uh, opposite over adjacent is going to be given by tangent um, and that's probably more commonly shortened more often shortened to just be called tan tan of 60 equals uh, root 3 over 1 for example um, or just root 3 but uh, I might just write root 3 over 1 because to remind you that it's a ratio we're talking about here now how do we remember all of this that sine is o over h for example well this is the sort of phrase, the sort of key word that um, often gets taught, really. Um, there's no particular reason that it has to be this word, but this is 
seems to be what everyone has chosen. So we could say sine of some angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Sokotoa. Okay, so means refers to this equation. The second syllable, ka, cos of whatever the angle is, equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Okay, and tan of the angle is opposite over adjacent. Okay, and just to clarify, what this means is um, no matter what the size of the angle, uh, what size of the triangle is, um, and what units we're using, uh, if we divide opposite by adjacent, um, if we've got the same angle, uh, it will always equal the same thing. Okay, and tan of that angle tells you what that division will give you. Okay, so let's uh, look at two examples um, of how to use this property. Similar to what we did before, but now we can use a proper language. Okay, so adjacent in this uh, triangle equals 22 centimeters. We've got an unknown opposite. Okay, the first step in these questions is always to uh, label the sides, basically. Find out what we're working with here. Okay, so we're working with opposite and adjacent. Now, which one of these in Sokotoa are we looking at? The third one, tan. Okay, so tan of the angle equals uh, opposite over adjacent. Okay, so we can fill in everything we know, and that will give us tan of 53 equals x over 22. Okay, so your calculator will know tan of every possible angle. Um, so you'll, you'll barely ever have to know these, uh, you'll just calculate them. Okay, so if we ask the calculator, what is tan of 53 degrees? What should this ratio be? And it'll tell you that the relationship is like this, that when you do opposite over adjacent, you should get 1.327 and so on. Okay, so now we just need to solve for x. If we multiply by 22, we get roughly 29.2 centimeters. Okay, and maybe one last check to check whether that looks like it makes sense. Mm. Yes, okay, it looks like it's slightly more than 22 centimeters. Okay, and finally, this might be a tiny bit harder. We'll see why at the end. Okay, again, again identify first. Uh, a is our opposite, and uh, A is our hypotenuse, sorry. Uh, 37 inches is our opposite. Now, which one out of Sokotoa are we working with? O and H, so this first part here. Sine of the angle equals opposite over hypotenuse. So we fill in everything we know. Sine of 43 equals 37 over A. Now we need to just finish this off. So we ask our calculator what sine of 43 is. What should this ratio equal? And it will tell us 0 0.682 roughly. And now we need to solve for A. Now this time uh, it actually takes a couple of more steps to rearrange this. So 0 0.682 times a equals 37, divide by that decimal, and you roughly get 54.3 meters. Okay, and just a little check, that does that look right? Based on that 37, yes. Okay, those are two examples. Uh, Next, you'll need to know how to find a missing angle if you are given two sides, but it will be very similar to this process.